What is it? Oh, look what I found! I got an unknown research thing. Scanning, 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 and what is it? Oh, look at that. That is so great, 3D printer. As long as the wind doesn't change, I should be okay. Whoa, <laughs> I better get under this shelf a little closer here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Astro Near. This is episode number two with the pre-alpha. It is uh, December 13th here. I'm just following right up, picking up just about where we left off in the last episode, in fact. Um, I did, however, move to a new planet. I just restarted a whole new game. I didn't like that last planet. I didn't like the dark ground uh, and the purple sky because everything kind of blended together, and it was really dark there. I don't know if you noticed, but um, there was no sun. And that's because either there were a lot of clouds or it's just the way the planet uh, was situated in the galaxy, the solar system, uh, uh, whatever. So anyway, we're, we're back. We have a brand new planet to play with and everything is looking hunky-dory here. Although these don't seem to work perfectly. Sometimes they a line breaks. So let's just make sure before we go exploring that we do have... You know what, let's just put another one here. There we go. That shouldn't break. Uh, yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump down into this cave and go exploring, I think. What do you think? Yeah? Let's do it. But first, I have everything to make a printer, guys. So I found some copper. I've got two copper. And we're going to make a printer. I have no idea what this does. But we're going to find out. I'm going to press that button. Zip. Make a printer. My guess is we can print something. But it has no power. That's not a problem. We can give it power. It'll actually get power on its own very slowly, but we can provide power with... Um, oh, you know what, dude? Come on. Um, with uh, solar panels. Let's go get some... Let's get some compound and make solar panels. Now, there's some kind of... Um, looks like some kind of spaceship up there in those mountains. We're going to have to go check that out pretty soon. So there are some, like, artifacts that you can find around the map... And they are, well, on the planet, I should say. <laughs> and they are uh, unidentified when you first find them. But you can bring them back here and put them on a research bench and uh, discover what kind of, what, what they are, what they're useful for. So I think the next thing we're going to make, in fact, over here will be the research bench. You know, we need this compound. And I, you know what? I got a whole bunch right here. But first, we need to give this guy some power. So let's go ahead and make up a solar panel thingamabob you can find power out in the world they're a little yellow Man, that might even be power over there i don't know we'll have to go looking around but i have found power in the past and you can just stuff it right in here manually and that that seems to work pretty well too in fact it's much faster than the solar panel obviously the solar panel is not going to work hey where'd you go what's over here because um because there's no sunlight right now. But when the sun comes up, this power right here, this is the battery, will get charged. Maybe down in the cave we can find some power. Maybe we can just bring it up here, some portable power. But uh, that solar panel is going to have to do for now. Let's go ahead and make the research table. Just do that. Bang! Yeah, you don't have to drop it in manually like I do with the uh, copper. You just have to click on... If, uh, the uh, the ghost outline there, and if you have the ingredients available, it will um, it'll fill it automatically. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and make another solar panel-y thingy, Bob. Bob. And this I have used in my first game that I played by myself, but I don't have anything to research at the moment. But hopefully, we can find something down in this cave. Now, let's, let's move my tethers up here. Whoop, where'd you go? Put my tethers up there, and I only have one solar panel on my backpack. It does seem to restore power pretty quickly. Once again, though, we have to wait for the sun. I'll carry this compound around with me in case we need to make any more tethers, but I think we're going to go down. Oh! Oh! Hey, this is power. Is it power? It's power. It's power. Yes. I knew it was like a golden looking thing. Alright, that's power. This is oxygen right here. I'm not really sure how to use the oxygen yet, and I don't really need it. Well, I don't think I need it. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's like portable oxygen of some type. So I'm not going to grab it, but I'm going to deform this ground so I can climb right up. 
All right, so now let me show you how this works. We get some power in my pockets <laughs> and we just dump it in one of these little slots and it just fills up the battery. It sucks up all the power too. Hmm. Anyway, so what do we do? So with the printer we can make we can make stuff here. This looks like, obviously there's a solar panel that we can make. I don't know if it's a bigger one. Oh, storage. We need compound though. Wind turbine, battery. Need lithium for that. Generator. One seat. One seat. Oh, a seat. Solar panel. Okay, I'm thinking storage would be nice, but I need a little more compound. All right, well, that's really cool. I like that. Let's go power this thing up. Oh, look at the, the it is actually being powered very slowly from the sunlight with the solar panel, but let's just dump the power in since I got it. Blink. Fill that up. And let's go see if we can find something cool in this cave to research. And I'll, I'll think about this for now, uh, for later. I don't really know what I'm going to build. Most likely some storage. Because my guess is we're going to find some pretty cool stuff down here. All right, we're going to get some, uh, oops, some tethers out. And this time around, I'm going to keep an eye on my little air tank on my back. <laughs> and like last time, I practically almost suffocated to death. Look how beautiful this is. we got stalactites, stalagmites. So great. Different colors. Can we break these down? No, it doesn't look like you can mess around with the stalagmites and stalactites. Oh, well, you yes, you can. You can drop, drop down the stalactites. That's so great. I don't have a weapon. I haven't seen any indigenous life forms. No aliens yet. But I haven't really been playing very much. So I don't know. Some kind of pinkish things over there. It looks like there's a lot of power down here, huh? So dark. Oh, it's laterite. Great. What are we? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slipping and sliding. Watch out for that. Now, this is about the extent of my knowledge of this game. The first episode, really. <laughs> um, the rest is just going to be left to discovery, and I'm I'm fine with that. I love I love games like this. Could be uh, the discovery in particular is what makes them so appealing to me, anyway. So I, I'm not gonna go weed a wiki. Uh, weed. Hey, 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 I'm Elba Fudd, and I will not weed a wiki. What is that? Oh, I'm out of tethers. Ooh, I gotta make some more. Some kind of crazy music down here. It looks like are those plants. I hope so. So yeah, I love this part. I love discovering things on my own. Oh no, these are bad. These are really bad. Run, run, put that thing away. They shoot um, gas at you. I, these have killed me in the past in my other playthrough by myself. Yep, that stuff kills you fast too, man. Some kind of noxious, uh, toxic gas goes right through my suit. I don't know how, but it does. Trust me, you don't want to mess with it. It goes back up. Interesting. All right, we, we will avoid those, um, they're like tomatoes or something. Gassy tomatoes. Let's go this way instead. And see what we can find. Whoops. More laterite. Uh, more gassy tomatoes. Something yellow and something purple. Let's go get it. Let's go check it out. Very curious. Now I'm running out of tethers. What is that? Oh, it's malachite here, which is great. Oh, it's copper ore. <gasps> Ooh. So my guess is we can smelt this into regular copper. That's why we need the smelter. Okay. Yeah, well, we can make a smelter. No problem. Malachite. Something back here. You see, it says something in there, but I can't see. What is it? Oh, look what I found. I got an unknown research thing. Yes, this is one of these unidentified... Things that you find. <laughs> Alien things. And I bet that one is too. Oh, it is! Now, sadly, you can't put those in your backpack. They're too big, but we can carry them out by hand. But I think I can only carry one at a time, unfortunately. I will leave these tethers here because we're going to have to take these one at a time. Come on. Come on, little rock. 
Little alien rock. All right, guys, we're back topside. I'm at my research bench. Let's go ahead and drop the golden rocky thing here up on top. Got plenty of power. And let's do research. Scanning, scanning, scanning. And what is it? It's a trade platform. Research trade platform. So now my guess is we can construct a trade platform. Cool. So that was just hidden inside that rock. And then we have the red rock over here, which we can also scan and do research on. We just plop it down up there. But we need power. And now the sun is down. So we're going to have to go suck up some power down here and feed it to the research table. And you know what? There was a lot down here. Let's just go get it. All right. Well, look at that. Sun is actually on the rise. But we're going to give it some help. Bloop. There we go. Crank it up. And press the research button. And let's see what's inside this giant rock thing. Looks like it's just like a um, like a roulette table. A truck. <gasps> we can make a truck. We can make a truck. We just need the vehicle platform. And then we can make a truck. I think we need storage because I'm carrying stuff around right now that I'd like to get rid of um, in some kind of storage box. So it looks like we need two piles of compound. Let's just go get that banged out right now. There's some compound over here. Over by the balls I opened. And oh, I'm all out. I'm all out of tethers right now. It's all right. I got my tank on my suit. I'm doing fine. Suck it all up. Get all the compound. Oh, I love this planet so much more than the other one. I like that it's so much brighter. That other place was too dark. Compound. Okay, let's make a... Well, let me just see what we can make here. Wind turbine. I'm not ready quite for that. I don't think. A battery. A generator. Maybe we can bring portable power with us somehow. That would be pretty cool. And a seat to sit on. But I'm really thinking right now... Storage is going to be our best option. So I can clear out my inventory here in my backpack. Oh, look at that. That is so great. 3D printer. <laughs> Fantastic. Give it to me. Oh, I got it. I just picked it right up. And can't go there. We can put it on top of something. So it gives us a little... A few extra spots, slots. So it takes up two, but gives us eight. So, all right. Well then. Uh, oh yeah. Let's let's dump stuff out of my backpack. Duh. That was the whole point of that. Let's bring it up. This is a little tricky because sometimes when you want to click on something behind you, you get the backpack. You know what I'm saying? Laterite is aluminum ore. Is what that is. That's really sweet. So yeah, we got to make that. We we need to make that smelter. Oh no. No, 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 no. Yeah, see, this can get a little tricky. I like the the fact that this is super easy to use. The UI is very intuitive and simple. Okay, never mind. My bad. You don't put it on other components. You just drop it here in the world. It's fine. It does not need power or anything like that. So now it's working fine. This is the discovery part I was talking about, right? Makes it fun and interesting. What is that? <gasps> Sandstorm! Oh, and I don't, we don't have any... Oh, we do have a little underground. we got to get underground. There's boulders in that thing that'll kill you. Just check the visibility is really bad, too. Oh, man, here it comes. Hurry! Get underground! Oh, man, it's coming right over the base. Right over the base. Get down! All right, I gotta dig a hole. Which is not gonna be a problem, because I got the tool to do it. All right, I think we'll be safe in here. It's actually kind of fun to watch. Let's just climb up and take a peek. Switch out for rocks. Whoa! See what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's so great! <laughs> I love it! I feel so safe down here. Whoa! That was a close one. As long as the wind doesn't change, I should be okay. Whoa! <laughs> I gotta get under this... 
shelf a little closer here. Look how I got my arm up. That's like, that's gonna protect me against one of those rocks going 40 miles an hour. Alright. I think the storm is dissipating. There's no more rocks anyway. Quick peek. Alright, we're good. Let's get back to work. Just want to go put this stuff in that storage. The proper way. Yeah, so we do get eight. We do get eight slots of storage. All right, very good. Um, power, compound. Can you even put power in there? Oh, sure you can. Hey, that's pretty slick. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're going to call it quits for the day and save some stuff for future episodes. Uh, I want to keep playing, but I think this is a good place to stop. We made a 3D printer. We printed up this nice storage container. We also made the, uh, the research table over there. Researched a couple of alien artifacts. And uh, we have a couple of new um, recipes that we'll investigate down the road. But uh, yeah, I think for now, we should just call it. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.